This learning cycle is focused on feedback, and the goal is to think about how we can shift our focus as educators from giving feedback on finished products to creating the time and space in our classrooms to give feedback as students are doing work. So in my book, Balance with Blended Learning, I talk about some of the challenges or problems associated with the traditional ways in which teachers give feedback. One, feedback tends to be infrequent. Because we take student work home typically to give feedback on it, that is a huge amount of work outside of our actual workday. And so often teachers don't give as much feedback as they would like. Feedback doesn't tend to be timely. It takes a long time to get through student work and give everybody feedback. Yet the longer the time between when students do work and when they receive feedback, the less useful or effective that feedback is. Feedback often happens in isolation. Teachers take home tons of literal digital work. They spend hours going through it, leaving comments, and then they give that work back to students to process in isolation. Often our energies are focused on finished products, but if students are finished with whatever it is they are working on and then we give feedback, that feedback isn't actually helping them to improve. Unless maybe they were revisiting it, you know, before they did a similar assignment in the future, which very few students actually are. Often feedback focuses on minutia. So there's so much feedback, it's overwhelming for the learner to actually act on feedback. Feedback tends to be one-sided, so we give students feedback, yet there's no conversation about the feedback, and we don't typically ask them for feedback on how we approached a particular lesson or project or assignment to figure out how can we also be improving our practice. So these are all challenges associated with feedback. And what I want to do in this cycle is have you think about how can I design a lesson that gives me the time and space to support students as they're working. So I'm going to challenge you to design a station rotation lesson where your teacher-led station is focused on jumping into and out of student documents or work to give them feedback as they're working, because then they can act on that feedback and improve their work right in the moment. So that will be the focus of this learning cycle.